long time. I went and took care of this little business I was dealing with. Got these clowns off my back. And proved once and for all that they still I took a month off and they still haven't gotten any more views on their page than they had since I left. Okay. Now, I ain't got no more views either. So, let me turn this little light on that's on the camera. I don't like the technology. You sit back and just relax. You know, I'm just trying to be honest and real. There's been a lot of crap going on on the news, and you know, we got volcanoes going off underneath the in Iceland, underneath the ice. Uh, you know, you got earthquakes all over the world. Um, you know, you got the American people hating on the American people and um, you still have people disrespecting me and calling me all kind of niggers on YouTube now you figure words are words words don't hurt nobody but perception is one thing you got a group of people hating you because of their beliefs and you got one guy say some foul outrageous stuff about you that only makes other people want to just say something stupid and ignorant. Then it goes back to all of my racist beliefs, how much a great racist I am, because I am racist. I just want to be blatantly honest. I don't like the way people have treated me in my life, and my whole entire life, I've been trying to prove to those exact same people that it ain't like that. We ain't like that. We ain't got to ask anything. We ain't got to do nothing. Everything we do, the world follows. We can sing and dance, and then everybody want to sing and dance. We wear our hat sideways, or with the logo on the side, a cock like this, and then the world follows us. You can push and hold a group of people down forever. But when you follow those people, mimic those people, and emulate those people, your entire existence is based on something that you hate. And I'm tired of those people. And I'm racist against those people. Those people are black. Those people are Asian. Those people are Mexican. And those people are Chinese. And all, and all, and all those people put together do not add up to the amount of white people that do the exact same shit on a bigger level. I'm tired of seeing black people get blamed for things. When have we been in charge enough to make precedent on anything? All we do is entertain. From the beginning of time, we've entertained people. You don't believe me? Why do these sports athletes call the owners of the team the owners? Oh, my owner. Da, 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 da. No, he owns the team. But see, the philosophy that I'm giving you some money to do something, I own you. That has never changed. So if my whole purpose here is to entertain somebody shook and jive, how can you blame me for anything? How could you blame my people for any crimes? If everything we taught, everything we taught, everything we were taught, we learned from those who put us in captivity. So you can say that all these crimes around America are committed by black people. Who taught these black people how to commit crimes? Who taught the Indians how to get drunk? You know, so when you watch movies like Avatar and uh, Fern Gully and, you know, just those, uh, those movies where people want to dominate and take care, uh, just take over. I mean, so surrogates, the gamer... I mean, you watch these movies, and it leads you to believe that, once again, society is telling us in the direction that we're being pushed in. They're telling us which direction we're going to be pushed in. See, my words are mixed up. It's early this morning. I'm tired. I've been having chest pains. I'm getting old. I'm out of shape. I'm having computer problems. I got, you know, I got this copy of Windows right here. Windows Vista Business. And I got all these computers, and I got, and I got the studio thing I'm still working on, and I'm writing a movie script. I mean, all this is coming from somebody who didn't even get out of 10th grade. People watch my videos, and some guy says, oh, just because.
because you had a great education. Da, 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 da. They couldn't teach me nothing. I was too worried about being alive or surviving. So I couldn't learn nothing because they couldn't teach me nothing. I, I looked at, and I've done a lot of research, and I find out I'm probably fucking autistic. I sit here and I have music in my head constantly. Songs, beats, uh, lyrics, uh, measures, you know, just everything. Can't keep a job because my attitude. Oh, what, what did the lady say? I'm tired of being scapegoated. Because it's true. Tired of being the one for the blame. And then it goes back to that, that other thing. I am tired of racism. It exhumes people. Why do you think I leave this thing? I leave, and then I, I change my subjects, I talk about something else, and boom. I've been damaged. I'm broken. I'm not supposed to live my life worried about what some other person is thinking about me. I'm not supposed to be living my life thinking that, oh, I'm going to walk down the street at 10 o'clock at night, go to the store and buy a snack or something, maybe a box of ice cream or something. Just something to eat on. Just getting out to get some sun. I mean, no sun. Just get out to get some air or something. And somebody's going to want to beat me up because I'm black. Or because from a certain angle I look Mexican. Or because I can deal with the Mexicans. I don't want to get jacked up by the police because I look like somebody. Based on a stereotype. A perpetual slavery in which they put all poor people in. Black, white, Mexican, whoever. That's what they do to us. They make us... Uh, they, they, they make us wait a minute they put us in position to where as we grow up with certain mannerisms then based on pop culture we dress a certain way but the crooks and the criminals dress the same way too because they can most likely afford what us regular people want so when you're dressing up like 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 you know hey well I look good in my big old fluffy jacket and and oh my jeans look kind of big but you know I'm looking good you know I got my nice big old shirt on this is style wear but you're walking down the street you're looking like a punk hootlum so you can get pulled over you we're we're driven into a system we're pushed and cattle prodded and beaten and raped and and and, and, and filtered and and you know exploited to the point of I am tired of this shit it just doesn't matter anymore. Education is worthless in this country. I said it. You're not teaching anybody how to do anything but get angry and give up. I've seen too many different reasons for people to just give up. And they're valid reasons. I got to go take care of my family. I got to feed my kid. I have to find a place to live. People give up. Because they've been taught to give up. The the power elite control us through fear and greed and need. So I used to always tell people, I don't want nothing. Because somebody who wants something is somebody who always has to have something. If you always gotta have something, it's primarily something you don't need. Because when there's something you need, if you really need something, do you ever think about it when you really need something? And you don't get it. You're still here. You see what I'm saying? We always push to get what we want, but not what we actually need. You see what I'm saying? We need food. We need water. We need shelter. We need health care. But people don't want everybody to have the same things. They want people to need so they can give it to you the way they want you to take it. And if you don't make any sense of what I just said, that's too damn bad. I spoke in that big old circle so I can let you know I am not going to change for nobody. And those who control us control all of us with the same thought, with the same button, and with the same controls. Because you ain't no different than me, and I'm no different than you, and we're no better than them. And as long as they control us, you think you control me. I think I control this. They think they control that. They control us. As long as they control us, you'll always think you control me. Because you're one of them. But you're not one of them because you can't sit at the table with them. All you do is wish you could be like those who control you. And that means you've been tubed.